What is going on, everybody? Good morning. It is Sunday, October 18th, 2015. This is take 1,000 <laughs> on this. Uh, I haven't been very happy with how the video has been going. So far, this one is not ranking up there with the keeper either. But uh, let's just keep pushing through. Today is the last of the daily videos. Um, this week, I, I've had a lot of fun doing the... You know, doing the different thoughts of the day, kind of thinking it through ahead of time, waking up early in the morning and doing them. Uh, I've had some really good feedback from folks, some great comments on Facebook on it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching them. I uh, hope that you enjoyed them. Hope that it, it, it gave you something to think about. Uh, good, bad, and different. You know, we're, we do the best that we can. So thank you very much. Um, today's video... Today's video is going to be very honest. Uh, it's going to be maybe a little embarrassing, a little painful, but this is the only way that I can get to my end goal. And by putting it out there in the world, that's it. That's It's out there now. Once it's on the interwebicles, <laughs> man, it's out there. So uh, I want to talk about my three F's today, and that's frustrations, fear, and future. Okay. Um, first, my frustrations. You know, one of my biggest frustrations has been my motivation here lately. Um, my motivation to go to the gym, my uh, motivation to do anything other than when I get home from work, just laying down or sitting down and doing nothing, being an absolute vegetable. Um, I have a frustration about my house. Just it's, it's in this miniature chaos right now. I haven't been taking care of it like I want to. Um, you know, I'll do the dishes, but then I'll let them sit. And they're dry, they're clean. I just don't put them up, you know. Um, for a while I had mail, it was all junk mail, but it was just sitting in a chair for two weeks, you know, stuff like that. It's just, that's a frustration for me. And I, and I have to work through to turn that around. Um, one of my other frustrations is money. You know, I was out of work for almost a year and I went broke. There's just no other, there's no other way to explain it. I was 100% debt free um, for a while and I, I owned my own house. I own my truck outright. I had nothing that I had to pay except for just whatever the monthly bills were for electricity and phone, things like that. Um, and... At one time, I had six figures sitting in the bank, guys. And I tried to buy happiness after my parents died. And I just had a, a whole bunch of, of pain that I was just trying to buy happiness, you know. Um, I bought fun, you know. I, I was out buying gadgets and toys and and. and cool firearms and all these different things and all that did was just it gave me a temporary smile but the problems that I was trying to to buy my way out of they were still there that that depression and everything was still there and now if I had known that I was going to be out of work for a year if I known that you know I was going to have all these things that popped up it would have made a big difference um, but yeah, I went broke and so I'm, I'm trying to dig myself out of that whole thing now. Um, it's amazing how difficult that can be. Um, one of my other frustrations is relationships. You know, I talked yesterday about, you know, the friendship thing and, and how I'm bad about phone calls and, and texts and, and such, but also, you know, romantic relationships, you know, I haven't here's the part that's going to be embarrassing for me. I haven't been out on a date in eight years. All right, guys. You know, some of that has to do with 
you know, my fears of rejection. Uh, some of it has to do with, you know, I try, I try and ask uh, someone out or try to get a phone number or something like that. And I either, I wouldn't get an answer or, uh, it would just kind of be that, that, ew. I mean, they're never quite that rude, but, um, you know, so, so that's another thing that just frustrates me because, you know, who wants to be alone? Nobody likes to be alone, you know? So that's a frustration. So let's talk about fears. And this kind of transitions out. Guys, check this out. This is my best friend right here. Cinnamon, say hi to the world. Yeah, you are having none of that. All right, jump down. All right, you guys got to see the debut of Cinnamon. Um, so we're going to talk about fears, though, now. Um, dying alone. Dying alone is one of my biggest fears. And, you know, back in 2013, I got real sick. I ended up in the hospital for about a week, and I was real close to death. Uh, when I got out of there, I had to basically rebuild myself so that I could walk again. You know, I had to use a walker and then had to use a cane. And then finally I didn't have to worry about that stuff anymore. But um, I'm still feeling the effects of that now, you know, three years later, two years later, three years later, two years later, sorry, almost three. Um, but I realized, you know, no one, almost nobody knows where I live. Nobody, I, I don't have any friends that live close by necessarily. And, and, and the friends that I do have that live close by, they they have their own families and, and such. You know, family that I have, you know, most of them do not live close by. I have some that come into town every once in a while, but they don't they don't contact me to, to say hey, they don't they don't meet up with me or visit or anything like that. Um so something happened to me and I died. Cinnamon, who you just saw a moment ago, uh she would be the only one that knows that I'm dead. And then she would be um, angry and a cannibal cat. Or not cannibal, because I'm not a cat. Basically, she would have to feed off of my rotting carcass, which would suck for her and for me. I mean, I'm dead, so it doesn't really matter. But still, I want to die alone. That would be bad. One of my other fears, though, is not getting ahead in life. And what I mean by that is I don't need millions of dollars. I don't need big fancy houses. I don't need private planes or, or, or exotic sports cars. Those are nice, but it's not a necessity for me. What I mean by getting ahead in life is that I want to be able to feel comfortable. You know, I want to be able to feel secure enough that I can do something for myself when I want to and know that I have that security. I've got that in my back pocket. You know, I don't even have a retirement set up right now at this point, and I really should have at my age, but you know, that's just how it goes. It's in another embarrassment, <laughs> you know. Um so so that is a huge fear is that I'm just not progressing in life like I want to. So let's talk, though, about the future. I want to talk about my future. I lost vision of my future for the longest time. I used to be able to see it. I used to be able to, to kind of envision what I wanted, what I wanted to do. And then somewhere along the way, that vision went blurry. So one of the things that I want for my future, I want to be healthy and I want to be happy. I want to, you know, I want to be able to wake up in the mornings and I want to be that guy that, you know, I, I go for the jog, I go for the run. Believe it or not, I just said that. Um, I, I want to, I want to cook and, and enjoy actually cooking. I want to use my, my kitchen for something more than just the microwave and my foreman grill. I want to be able to help others be happy and, and be successful. I really do feel like that is one of my callings is to help other people. 
Now, how can I help other people whenever I'm struggling just to help myself? That's a great question. But for some reason in my mind, I just know that this is something that I need to do, that I'm, I'm supposed to do. You know, I want to be in a relationship where I can share my future and the person that I'm with wants to share their future with me and they, they want to share their ideas and dreams and, and we can help build each other up. I want to, I want to dress nicer. I want to, I want to, you know, I want to do so many different things and I'm starting to see that future again. So hopefully, wait a minute, strike that, reverse it. I will get to the future that I envision because I'm going to dedicate myself to getting to that future. There's no hope to it. It's only doing it. Okay? There's there is no other option for me. Because I can't la let my fears and my frustrations dictate my future. I have to let them drive myself to build a better future, but I can't let them sit there and stop me from building on that future. So, sorry for the long video today, guys. Again, it's Sunday. I hope you guys have an incredible day, have an incredible week coming up. Um, I'm not doing the daily videos anymore, but I may pop in videos every once in a while just for grins and giggles because you never know when something might pop up into my mind that I want to talk about. So, there you go. All my friends, family, man, I love you guys. All right, everybody be good to yourself. Be good to others. Do something great today. Have fun. Bye.